Hi. Now, in this next part of the example, we've got to find out the coordinates then where these two lines L1 and L2 intersect. And you should be able to do this in this video even if you haven't seen the earlier part of the question because just to recap, we were given that the line L1 has equation 4y plus 3 equals 2x, which I've sketched on here. And we worked out the equation of the line L2, which passed through this point C with coordinates 2, 4. We worked it out to be 2x plus y minus 8 equals 0. So this is a good question to practice where these two lines intersect because we're told that they intersect at the point D and we've got to find the coordinates of that point D. Okay, well, you might like to pause the video, have a go at this if you're wanting to try this as part of revision. Come back in a moment and I'll work through the work solution. Okay, well, welcome back if you did have a go. Now, I do encourage you to always draw sketches, by the way, in coordinate geometry questions because it allows you to just check out whether your answer looks reasonable. And we'll talk about that at the end of the uh, video anyway. So we've got then our two equations for our lines L1 and L2. Let's just put them down here first of all. We've got L1 is such that it is 4y plus 3 equals 2x. And we've got L2 is such that its equation is 2x plus y minus 8 equals 0. Now to find out points of intersection between any curves we need to always do simultaneous equations. So I'm going to number these two equations 1 and 2. And there's various ways that you can do simultaneous equations. I'm going to use a substitution method but do experiment. Try different ways for this okay, and uh, check which method you feel works best for you. Okay, now if I'm going to use substitution, I notice that they've both got a 2x in, okay, in this example. So I could make 2x the subject from, say, uh, well, it's already the subject in equation 1, and I could immediately substitute it into equation 2. And that's what I'm going to do. Other options could be that you make y the subject from equation 2 and substitute it into equation 1. Try that and then compare your methods. Okay, well, let's just tell the reader what we are going to do. So I'm going to say sub, okay, 1 in equation 2. In other words, I'm going to substitute for that 2x. So in place of 2x, I'm going to write 4y plus 3 in here. So therefore I've got 4y plus 3 then plus that y there minus the 8 equals 0. So if I group the y's together I've got therefore 5y and then group these constants together 3 minus 8 that's minus 5 that equals 0. Add 5 to both sides I therefore have 5y equals 5 and then divide both sides by 5 and I get y equals 1. Okay, so I feel that that's a quick way of getting the value for y. Okay, well we'll just come down here and we'll see if we can carry on working this out. We need to get the x value. So what I'm going to do is say substitute, let's put it here, substitute y equals 1 into, well, I've got a choice here, equation 1 or equation 2. It's not really going to matter. I think 2 would be the best one because I've just got y rather than 4y. So substitute into equation 2. So if I do that, I therefore have 2x plus the y value, okay, which we now know is 1, minus 8 equals 0. So if I clean this up now, we therefore have 2x and 1 minus 8 is minus 7 equals 0. 
So if I add 7 to both sides, I get 2x equals 7, and now divide both sides by 2. So I get x equals 7 over 2, which I could write as 3.5 or 3.5, but I prefer to leave my coordinates as top heavy fractions. OK, so where does that take us then? Well, we can finish the question off. We had to find the coordinates of D, so therefore D has coordinates. The X coordinate is 7 over 2, or 3.5, and, and the Y coordinate is 1. Now I did say that if you were to draw a sketch, you can always do a visual check to see whether your answer look sensible, whether it's got a chance of being correct. And in this case you can see that my x coordinate is three and a half and it's clearly got to be greater than the two. So that looks good. And the y coordinate of d has got to be a positive value, which it is, one, and it's got to turn out to be less than the y coordinate for c, four. So again that looks promising. So do have a go at drawing sketches for your coordinate geometry questions. It really does help to help you to check to see whether things are correct.